name's Charles. <laughs> I'm Anna. And we're here, and we're going to make dairy-free ice cream. What we're, do you think about that? I think you're talking very slowly. But yes, dairy-free. Some people like to say paleo, but that's just a bandwagon word. We're going to use the milk of a coconut. What other ingredients do we have here? We've got fresh raspberries, egg yolks, honey, and some very fancy organic vanilla that Charles bought me for my birthday. But then over here we have this xanthan gum. That's because you made me buy it. Uh, well, sometimes, just in case you didn't know, they put xanthan gum as a replacement for the thickener, which would have been the cream. And eggs. The milk. Well, yeah. Well, that's going to help. Eggs gonna thicken help. it. Yeah, it helps. But if you want to have a little more smoothness, you, I can add the xanthan gum. It's a stabilizer. It's a stabilizer, yes. And it's not some creepy ingredient that for some of you who are into the health movement and they look at it like, I don't know what that means. Must be bad. Well, xanthan gum is actually just a culture that's grown in the lab. And yes, there could be some argument that's not very good, but there's really nothing that shows that it's any bad. Anyways, what's our general process that's going to happen. It's very long and involved, but generally a lot of whisking and ladling and more whisking and tempering and whisking, so we're not going to bother filming all that. Yeah, we'll show you the finished product and Anna will show you how great it tastes by the reaction she has on if her it, face. If it does. <laughs> if it does? If it does. Well, you're never going to see this video if it doesn't taste good. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> oh, no. The dumb ones are the funny ones. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, shall we get going? We shall. All right. Good day. It's more like a malt at this point because. Now we need to start over. Mmm, <laughs> ah. this tastes so good. What do you think of it, Anna? <laughs> that didn't sound rehearsed at all. <laughs> I like it. There's not a lot of coconut flavor in it. I get tired of coconut these days. Um, the raspberry adds a tartness. I think it's really good. Well, Charles, wasn't... what do you think of it? Well, what do I think of it? That's such a great question. It's cold. It's cold. It has cream neatness to it. <laughs> <laughs> it sure I think it was a success. And like we said in yes. the last segment, it was a failure. You're probably not going to see this video. But it looks like you're going to see this video. And if you're watching, I hope you're enjoying it. And you're inspired to make your own dairy-free ice cream. It looks like ice cream. It tastes like ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. And it's pink. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Slow down. You're the one who told me I was going so slow in the beginning. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mmm, I really like that. So glad we made that. Yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, we didn't say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>